here at home now and turning to weather. Matt Peterson, not a washout <laughs> of a day, but not great either. Yeah, a soggy end of the weekend. Unfortunately, it was a, a wet night for lots of folks. We had showers and thunderstorms roll through the region. A few showers still hanging out this morning, but as we check in with our eyewitness weather watchers, not a whole lot of rain reported by the eyewitness weather watchers here early on in the day. We'll start things out. Let's head up in the northern Bucks County. We're up in Perkesee this morning at John's house. He's got cloudy skies, but again, no rain right now, but it's a cool 60 degrees, so a chilly start to the day areas north of the city. As we head down to Delaware, where we had some precipitation here early this morning, Dolores has only got cloud cover now, but she's sitting at 64 degrees, so also again a chilly morning. She said she had a strong thunderstorm come through in the wee hours this morning, so again, we had the precipitation early. We're starting to get a little bit of a break, and let's head back down the shore for our uh, last observation here. James is at 63 degrees down in Ocean City. He's also got that cloud cover and he sent us in a picture this morning from the marina. It is a cloudy, dreary looking start to the day out in the back bays of Ocean City and it doesn't look unfortunately if you're down the shore like it's going to get a whole lot better this afternoon. It's probably going to be a cloudy day even if it doesn't rain all day. Definitely a dreary afternoon. Storm scan 3 shows the precipitation slowly working its way on shore. We have an area of low pressure just down to our south so we get that counterclockwise flow which means that we get an easterly breeze off of the ocean, shuffles in that moisture, and it feeds the showers that we had early this morning. It even feeds those thunderstorms like Dolores was talking about through the overnight hours last night. Not too much happening right now. Again, for the most part, it's just some light precip out there, a few spotty sprinkles for the most part. Biggest area of concern, I guess we'll call it, is up and now into the parts of the Lehigh Valley right along I-78. We're getting some precipitation there. We'll talk about that in a second, but let's head down to Delaware. We do have some light shower activity around Middleton, back down towards Dover as well. In general, this is all, again, very, very light for the most part. It doesn't look like it's going to be a steady rainfall for the entire area, and again, not a washout of a day today. And as we head up further north, as I said, right along I-78, that more sustained rain shower activity that's kind of been holding on for the last couple of hours or so, we even had a few isolated downpours mixed in with this light shower activity. So if you're traveling I-78 this morning, if you're planning on getting outside in Allentown, maybe hold off for just about another a half an hour, 40 minutes, and this should push well to the north, and it will not be affecting you through the uh, rest of the morning hours. Future weather for us, cloud cover for the most part throughout most of the day. If you are, again, Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, could see some sunshine break through that cloud cover. I think for the rest of us, though, from Philly and back down towards South Jersey and into Delaware, it's most likely going to end up being an overcast afternoon. Spotty shower chances throughout the entire day, even though future weather not really painting in too much of a chance for that. Keep the umbrella handy, even though, again, not going to be a washout could still see that pop up shower as we get later on tonight and into the early portions then of our Monday. Some more showers, maybe even a few embedded uh, areas of heavier rainfall through the overnight tonight. No real concerns with flooding at this point, so that's good news. We had that flash flood watch that actually was canceled early. It was supposed to expire at six o'clock this morning and expire closer to about three o'clock in the morning. And then throughout our Monday, a mix of sun and clouds for us, maybe a few spotty showers, a much more comfortable afternoon. Comfortable days all week long. This is a look at our dew points for the next five days. Starting tomorrow, dew points only in the 50s. We had dew points in the 60s and 70s for really the last four or five days, so it's been very muggy out there. A big change for us, though. Starting tomorrow, 56 with our dew point, down to 53 on Tuesday, 51 on Wednesday, still very comfortable Thursday, and then as we get towards the end of the week, maybe starts to get a little bit more muggy as we pop back up there into the 60s with our dew points for Friday. 61 today, so a cool afternoon with a spotty shower. 70s for us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and our pick of the week is going to be Thursday, 78 with sunshine, and then a few showers by Friday and Saturday. Well, if you love watching the weather, you can be featured in our newscast by becoming an eyewitness weather watcher. Sign up right now. Go to philly.com, cbsphilly.com, that is, slash watchers.